I'm doing this because I feel Merced has had a lack of leadership at the uh, Board of Supervisors level for a long time. I think it's manifested itself into the situation we find ourselves in today with uh, a lot of underemployment, a lot of unemployment, one of the highest poverty rates in the state of California, if not the nation. Our economic development has suffered. We've lost a lot of good opportunities. The county has not been proactive in their economic development and our crime situation has gotten worse. To be the murder capita of California uh, going on three years in a row now is unacceptable to me for a community the size of ours. We have a county of 250,000 people. I think that these designations are stifling our progress and our growth, especially when we have the 10th University of California in our midst. I think we should be doing a much better job of promoting our community and making it a safe community. I think things have gotten worse in the last four years, and that's why I'm running. I'm not running because there's an election. I'm running because there's a need for this community. And I really love this community. I've been a lifelong resident of this community. I grew up here, and I feel that uh, I can change things. My top priorities would immediately be to get the crime, the homelessness, the vagrancy under control in our community. It's preventing economic development. It's preventing visitors to come to our community. It's not a safe community. When we have the uh, UC students told not to come to downtown Merced, which is a district I represent, that's unacceptable. We need to have an inviting community for our residents, for all of our residents. We need to take care of those that are vulnerable, but we can't uh, let the crime and uh, lawlessness continue. Um, I'm not trying to uh, criminalize homelessness. That's not what I'm saying at all, but there is a difference between homelessness and vagrancy. Our petty crimes uh, have increased. We've seen that in our crime statistics. Again, to be the murder capita of California, Merced County is unacceptable to me. This prevents economic development from happening. You have to have a safe community for other things to continue. Another top priority would be water, because if we do not have a sustainable water supply, all of these other things will not matter. And I'm specifically talking about groundwater. Uh, our groundwater recharge, we need to be on top of those efforts. Our groundwater management plan needs to take into consideration all of the stakeholders, including the cities and agricultural needs. I think our surface water deliveries is going to be difficult to increase those supplies because of the regulatory pressures, but I think as a supervisor, I can have a profound effect on our groundwater recharge efforts. And I would work with all of the stakeholders, the farmers, to do that, and specifically recharge efforts in the off season or the rainy season. Instead of letting the water flow to the ocean, we would uh, try to recharge our aquifer with that. We need to look at our groundwater as a bank account. If our bank account runs out, uh, we're not gonna have any development, whether it be ag, businesses, homes, the UC schools, because without water, nothing happens.